Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and I got a question for you. Why should I even watch any of your stuff? I ask myself that question a lot when it comes out with my videos, when I sit back and look at my channel and I look at some goals that I haven't reached, but I need to sit back and wonder, do y'all think that same thing when it comes to your channel? Now, I have no reason to um, cater this to any other direction because y'all know my niche is mainly training media ministries. I don't talk about my Tesla. I don't talk about video games, even though those are my interests. This is for media ministries. So that's who I'm talking to. Now, you'll see this same type of question for anybody who is a content creator, but I don't really see that many people talking about it from a ministry standpoint. So again, my question is, with all the hard work that you do, whether you're a part of media ministry or more importantly, anybody who is in leadership, the, the pastors, the, all this other stuff at a church, why should I listen to you? Why should I tune into your channel? Why should I tune into your content? Now, I'm asking that because I think what we're doing a lot, and I am guilty of this as well, is are we just throwing up content for the sake of throwing up content, or do we have a focus for what we're doing it for? Now, I'm, 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 yes, I'm beating up churches when I say this. When you're live streaming your Sunday service, Saturday service, whatever service that you got, your Bible study, whatever, what is your expectation of it? Do you even have an expectation? Because if you don't, I think that's the part, that's the beginning of it. So let me tell you, talk you through my mindset of when I do videos or I do content online. I have a goal of what I want the audience to think when I'm done. Um, the comments that people are say, the feeling that they get. Now, I do not look at the numbers. I look at how my content resonates with people. So like, for example, I did a recent uh, media booth where it was nothing but encouragement. I felt awkward doing that video, but I felt that this was something that was needed. It didn't get a lot of views. Last time I checked, it is December 7th, 2023. I did that video earlier this week, I believe. Um, as of looking at it right now, that I've only had 300 views on that video. That was not my goal. My goal was the response of did it speak to the people who found it. And in the comments, I got exactly what I was aiming for. So let me ask you, again, why should I listen to your live stream? What is the goal of it? Is it just to do it because... That's what churches need to do now. I mean, that's okay. That's that's what I would consider kindergarten. Like, it's better for you to be doing that than not doing it at all and saying that we don't need to do this stuff at all. But my question is, what is your goal? What are you trying to accomplish with it? What are you trying to, what do you want to leave the audience with after they listen to it? Or pastors, let me rephrase this and maybe turn your mindset a little bit into when it comes to online stuff. When you do your message, God's inspired you, gave you the word, whatever that term is, and you want to deliver that message with God, because God has given you, you've been led to do this, teach on this series, whatever. When you finish your content for not the people who are in the congregation, who are physically there, if I turn on your message, from last week, what do you want me to walk away with? The reason I ask that is if you can't answer that question, maybe that's part of the problem. I think we're expecting, and I'm being very transparent with y'all, um, we have this expectation that we see the vocal minority talking about all this superstar success on social media, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all this other stuff that <laughs> I'm trying to be I'm politically correct, but I'm just going to be real. You see a bunch of people that don't look like they got any form of talent at all 
and they're just doing a stupid dance or whatever like that. And then they just blow up in attention. And it's like, what in the world? How in the world did they do this and that? And we we sit back and think, oh, I just got to throw something stupid up there and I can get the same result. So again, let me ask you, what are the results of your church and all the content that you're putting up there? How many videos, live streams do you put up? Have they broke, if we have to say a number, broke a thousand? But more importantly, how many comments have been said that it matches the expectation that you put on that message. Again, I, I'm, I'm trying to ask why, because everything starts with why, which is a very good book. Um, need to finish it myself. Um, but I guess my, my question is, going into 2024, don't just put content up, live stream, just because it's the new thing to do or it's the expected thing to do. Have a purpose for why you do it. As simple as this is what I say to myself when I do videos. When I, like for me, I'm, I'm telling you the purpose of this video. I want to comment. <laughs> and it's kind of, it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. But anyway, I want to comment to be like, AJ, thank you for talking about that. I want it, I want to move forward, but it feels like I'm just spinning my wheels. Thank you for bringing this to attention. Oh, I never thought about that, The what I'm aiming for while we're doing this stuff. That's what I'm looking for. And for me, it's to see the growth in the other ministries that I follow that are subscribers to me, and I see and I interact with them to see that, hey, they've pushed the, mo the needle forward. They've moved. They've, they've got over that plateau, and now they're getting more success in what they're doing. So again, I, I want you to seriously think, this ain't going to be a long video. I just want you to think, get you thinking, why should I watch anything that you put up here on any platform it is? Why? What do you want your audience to get from anything that you post? That's a part of one of the chapters in, the, in my book um, that we're going to be finishing up pretty soon about Anytime you post anything, what's the purpose of it? Because if you don't have a purpose, you might as well just be posting something up on a telephone pole that you see people still do for some odd reason. And how many people pay attention to that? Maybe that's the reason why you don't have any traction. It's, you know, it's right the vision, make, the, make it plain. That's not just about what I want for my life. That's for all aspects. I sit down and say, why do I want my YouTube channel to get bigger? Why do I want my business to get bigger? Why do I want um, this? I, there's a purpose behind everything I'm not, that I'm doing. I'm not just doing it just because. So again, are you just live streaming? Are you just um, doing whatever, putting up content just because that's the end thing to do? Instead, I ask you to maybe even pause on your live stream and stuff until you can have a real solid understanding of why you're doing it in the first place and what's the expectation of every time that you put something up, what is that? And if you're bold enough, why don't you put it down below? Hopefully your comment will inspire or give where it says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Maybe if you're free enough to put it down there, maybe that will inspire some other people to be like, you know what, I wanted to put that down, but I was too scared to put that out there. Just to know that the stuff that we talk about, the stuff I talk about, I'm not talking about something that's so brand new. It's most of the things I can confidently say the same stuff that I struggle with is what y'all are struggling with. Yeah, I, we're, we're getting ready to hit 60,000 subscribers, but guess what? I started with zero subscribers just like everybody else, and I beat my head against a wall trying to compete and do what everybody else does when really the thing is I need to have a purpose for why I'm doing it in the first place. It's as simple as that. Start with that. And that's not something you got to spend money on. That's just changing the focus. What is your ministry's reasoning? or why you're doing it in the first place. It's great if you're doing it in a media ministry because you want to help share the message throughout the entire world. That's great. 
But if you can't get everybody on that, those other people that don't have a purpose might be dragging that down. So if you try and tell them this is the importance of the of why we're doing the live stream, but then they're on camera and they're undermining that very same purpose because they don't have a why, maybe that's where some of the frustration is. You need to get everybody in one accord to know why we're doing this in the first place. We're not just doing it just because it's the end thing to do. And if it is, honestly, that's probably why you're frustrated because you're just doing it because that's what's to do. When this opportunity can reach like no other opportunity in history. And it is not limited to how much money you got. It's the effort that you put into it and the purpose for why you're doing it. And I just really want to get in your head. I mean, honestly, it's late. I was actually in bed and I decided to get up and record this because I was going to record it tomorrow. But I'm like, nah, let me go ahead and do it now because I want this. Y'all to really think about this. Why do you do what you do? And why would anybody even want to watch what you're producing? Do you have an expectation of that? And then whatever that expectation is, when you set that, work towards accomplishing that. And you'll be surprised when you set that expectation of, this is what I want the comments to say. This is what I want the people to feel when they finish watching this. You'll be very surprised when you actually get that now that you've actually set a target. I'm not talking about adding a new camera, not adding a new video mixer or graphics, just changing it and understanding and defining why should anybody watch your stuff in the first place. If this resonated with you, leave a comment down below because I read the comments and honestly, your comments help inspire me to keep doing what I'm doing as well. And I just want to be able to help y'all to move forward, just like for all of us to move forward to impact more people. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video later.